Part two on the lesson 4-3 for vector fields. Um, all I wanted to do was um, the second uh, the second thing we have to learn, which is um, identifying a vector field or analyzing it. So again, for part one, we were being asked to analyze like a handful of particular points um, using the vector field equation. Now, um, rather than trying to analyze every single point individually, um, what we want to talk about is um, looking at it generally. And the way we do that is breaking the graph into the four quadrants. Um, and what we do here, so I guess I'll just use black and we'll do um, kind of break it up this way. So as we look at this um, vector field and the equation that goes with it, um, we just go through the quadrants and I'll go through them um, quadrant one through four in that order. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, in this quadrant, um, we'll say that we start positive and positive. Our x's and y's are positive. Um, but if we want to look at the y value, what is our y value going to do? Because each of our points of our vectors, the initial points, are going to start in quadrant one just because that's where we are. The end points, what, what happens? What direction do they point? Well, from any given point, if I plug in this equation, we'll see that the x values of the endpoint are always going to be positive because it's x squared. So the y values, we'll call them red here. Um, sorry, the x values of the end term, not the y's. The x terms are always positive. And the y term, because positive and positive multiplied, those are also going to give us the y term of our terminal point is positive. Um, so what that means is, uh, we could describe this as saying that the vector, wherever we start the vector, the y is always going to go up, the x is going to go up, so we say this vector goes right and up. So every vector, to some degree, is going to do, like, maybe it's over here, it's just a little bit, and over here it's a little bit more, and when you get way out here, maybe it's, like, way up here and way up here, right? but they're always going to point to the right and up. Um, so then we we go back and we do the same thing for quadrant two. Quadrant two, the x will start the initial point x. Oops, writing what I'm saying. Um, the uh, x's are negative, but the y's are still positive. So then we go to the end point, the x value of the terminal point. Well, let's see. Our x's are are negative here, but Whatever we have for our negative x value, we end up squaring it. Um, so what will happen here is the x terminal point is going to be positive because it's squared. And the y, well, the y term is positive, but the x term is negative. So a positive and a negative multiplied together, the y value will end up being negative. See, so that means that these arrows, all the vector arrows in quadrant two, are going to point x is to the right, but the y points down. So all these vectors are going to point to some degree. You know, maybe they do this little bit or this little bit. They're all going to point down and to the right. So we continue on back here. Uh, x is a negative. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. I'm not sure if that shows up in the video or not, but my screen just kind of went blank, sort of. So uh, where we were going with this was we were going to evaluate the uh, x and y initial points. So back here, it's a negative x and a negative y. Therefore, our negative x squared is going to give us a terminal point x positive. And negative, negative, that's also positive. So the x and the y started negative. When you multiply them, they become positive. So all the vectors in this quadrant are going to point right and up. And our last quadrant, the x is positive. 
and the y is negative. So we get positive term squared, that's still positive, and positive negative gives us a negative, so we would point right and down. So, um, and, and honestly, that's, that's all we have to do in terms of analyzing it. If it just says analyze the following vector field and it doesn't give you particular points, that's what I want you to do. I want you to draw the quadrants and then give me the X and Y of the initial point, which in this case, they were all the black um, positives and negatives. Um, and then below that, you would give me the Y value and X value of the terminal point. Um, once you've determined whether they end up positive or negative, um, what you say is, you know, positive means my arrows point right uh, for the X or they point left. Um, if they're negative and same thing with for the y values they're either up for positive down for negative um, if we wanted to see um, exactly what the graph looked like you know th this is the graph over here on the right um, and it's confirmed from the graph to our analysis all the arrows in this quadrant here they're all pointing to some degree to the right and up all the arrows in quadrant two over here in the upper left, those we said point to the right and down. And if you look at every one of these vectors, they all point to some degree to the right and down. And we keep checking, we say right and up. So in that quadrant, undo that. In this quadrant, we have that positive, positive, so the right and up. That's confirmed as well as right and down. So all these arrows here confirm that. So what that would look like in terms of uh, doing that in the activity itself. Um, so here's all the problems where you analyze points, analyze points. Um, what you'll do in the activity is um, you'll be given a set of matching here like this. So um, I would go through and, and try and answer the easy ones. Like this one here only has an X term. So all of your Ys, they, they don't do anything. So these ones here, all the arrows are going to all point the same direction. I won't tell you whether all the arrows point up or down or left and right. Um, but you can see that you can narrow down that um, equation 8 is either going to be B or C because all the arrows end up being the same. Your, X, your Y terms don't ever change. So... Um, same thing with 9, it's going to be the opposite of that. So yeah, there's there's some patterns you can find as you do these. But uh, anyways, that's lesson 4-3. Um, good luck. I might even make the video for the uh, practice problems here. But for now, um, that's all we're doing. Oh, sorry. Um, there is this one, I guess. I kind of forgot about this. Uh, real quick, if we wanted to check this, this is saying which of the following functions uh, is this vector field here. So um, let's do that really quick. Let's see if we can do this in under two minutes. Um, there we go. So um, here, you know, our uh, x and y is positive, positive, but um, x squared, y squared, that's also positive, positive. Um, so those are right and up, right? So that's positive x to the right. Positive y means up. Well, right away, I'm going to check that and say, hey, this is pointing down into the right. Um, so it can't be this one. Um, moving on, we've got graph here um, positive positive therefore the y is now our x well the y was positive so that stays and the x is positive same thing so that's right and up so still not right well we need to confirm this but let's let's check the third one okay um, so <clears throat> we have x negative y so we have positive positive now here we have um, x is still x, so that's positive, but y becomes negative y, so that instead of being positive becomes negative. So that means we are to the right and down. Well, let's check to the right and down. So we're, we're good there. Um, here is negative, positive, x and y. Um, x is still going to be x, so that's minus. A negative, negative y, or negative positive y, so that's negative. So that means uh, to the left and down. Let's see, yeah, left and down. Okay, so we're good there. We're good. One, two, um, negative x, negative y. So that means negative x. But a negative, negative y means 
positive, so that means uh, left, sorry, this was left and down, this is left and up. Let's see, up, left, okay, yeah, let's check. And our last one is um, positive in the x, minus in the y, um, positive x stays positive x, so we are to the right. Uh, negative y to a negative, so that actually cancels and that says up, right and up. Yep, arrows are pointed up to the right. So that is our graph. Now obviously after we mismatch those two, we probably could have stopped earlier, but um, that would be another way to do these. Um, and again, you would apply that same for the practice. So good luck.